The Paul Macbeth line has come out with some of the greatest discs we've ever seen come from Discraft, and also some questionable ones. The first one that comes to mind is the Malta. I definitely did not enjoy the Malta, but the Luna is potentially one of the greatest, if not the greatest throwing putter of all time. Extremely glidey, extremely versatile. So we've seen some great discs and some not so great discs from the Paul Macbeth line. Today, I wanna to share with you the Paul Macbeth Hades, a disc that I've actually never thrown before. We've got a 12.6 minus three, two. We'll compare it to the Royal Strive, which is currently my favorite distance driver. I believe it's a 13.6 minus two, two. And I've also been throwing with some relative success this MVP Orbital. So we'll throw the Orbital, we'll throw the Strive, and then we'll see how the Hades goes on its first flight. Let me know if you enjoy the Paul McBeth line, which is your favorite disc, or if there were any that felt, you know, short for you. For me, the Malta was the one that really fell the most short. This is the Orbital. I anticipate the Hades will fly similarly to the Orbital, that nice little bit of flip up, and then a nice little fade at the end. And now let's do the Strive. That Strive is funny. It seems to get more stable the more I throw it. There's only a handful of discs that I've had that got more stable the more I use them. That Strive is one of them. The Castaplast Falk is the other one that comes to mind. But now I've got the Hades here. First ever throw. Little cotton candy swirly guy. Let's see if it flips up similar to how the orbital flipped up. Okay, not quite the flip up that I was looking for. Not necessarily a bad thing. Let's go grab everything. We'll throw them back. Um, I'll throw it with a little bit less hyzer. I thought I was really going to get that orbital style kind of super flip. Uh, a little bit more stable than I expected. Let's go throw it again. Today's video, obviously sponsored by Power Grip USA and Berg's Disc Sports. Those are my two main supporters of the channel. You can use my code ICEBERG10 to save 10% over at Power Grip. You can use my code ICE20 to save 20% on any disc golf bag over at bergsdisksports.com. Gonna have to give this thing a couple more throws to figure it out. We'll go with the same order, Orbital, Strive, and then Hades. This Orbital's been a really good flyer for me over the last couple weeks. It's the OTB Glow one. I don't know if that's more stable than a normal Orbital, but that thing really seems to go pretty easily for me. I can keep it pretty straight. And I was inspired to start throwing it more by Simon's YouTube video. <laughs> There's the Strive. That felt like a powerful rip. Oh yeah, skipping to the back edge of the golf green. That's a good sign that it was an absolute bomb. And then we've got cotton candy style Hades. We'll go nice and flat this time. I think that's definitely on the stable side as far as Hades' go. That definitely flipped and turned a little bit, like your typical minus one or minus two. Um, but at least for me, it's certainly not flying at a minus three. All right, orbital. A little more power this time. All right, there's that. I think that thing might be like a minus 3.5 or a minus four. Absolute flip dog. Good rip on it, honestly. Now let's go with the Strive. That's a smash. Oh, I hit the pole. Hopefully it didn't damage my favorite driver. All right, let's see how the Hades goes. Dialing up power a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So far, the flight of the Hades is certainly surprising me. I'm not sure if that new swirly run is more stable than previous runs. When I've seen other people throw them in the past, they seem to be super flippy, roller discs, big turnover discs. Um, but that Hades seems to be relatively overstable. All right, let's go with the last three throws here. It feels like we've got like a tail right to left going on. That should be the perfect wind to get the Hades to go extremely far. But let's start with the orbital, test the waters. <sighs> yeah, as I continue to warm up, I'm throwing a little harder on every single throw. Orbital, can't really handle an extreme amount of power unless you're throwing it 
either with a ton of hyzer or a ton of height. Now let's see if that post smack ruined the strive. Nope. Whoa, that went all the way past the golf green. That's like 450. Been trying to throw more nose down lately, just doing a little more like key turn position on that pull through, and it seems to be helping me throw a little bit farther. All right, last throw of the day with the Hades. Let's, let's try and smush this thing. Yeah, it's just kind of stable. You guys let me know if I'm just a noodle or if the new runs of Hades are actually stable. I got to rip this Hades one more time. I got to get it to turn at least a little bit. I'm just totally mentally disrupted by, it says minus three, but it's not flying like a minus three. <sighs> there it is. I mean, that's pretty much just like full power flat. If you have a really fast arm, the Hades is going to turn a lot more for you than it does for me. I throw right between 60 and 64 miles an hour and I could pretty much throw a full power flat, get a nice full flight out of it, good distance, good control, definitely not too flippy. Um, we had a pretty stiff headwind coming in on that last throw and it held up to it no problem. I'll probably be sticking with the Strive for my main distance driver. Doesn't mean the Hades is a bad disc. Um, if I lose the Strive, the Hades would be a really nice replacement for that. So that'll be something that goes kind of in the trunk. It's on deck. If I ever lose that prototype Strive, I'd be really happy and excited to add that Hades into my bag. If you want to go get one for yourself or a Strive or an Orbital, go over to Power Grip USA, use my code ICEBERG10 to save 10% on your order over at the website. All orders over $70 are for free. Bergsdisksports.com, best disc golf bag on the market. Ask yourself if you haven't checked one out yet, why not? I'll see you guys in the next video and take care.